Welcome to this how-to video. Today we're going to be talking about how to download boot software and install it on your 2020 monitor. First, take a USB drive at least 4 gigabytes in size and insert it into your computer. Next, open a web browser such as Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. In your web browser, type in the web address cloud dot precision planting dot com again that's cloud dot precision planting dot com go ahead and go to cloud dot precision planting dot com we do not require you to log in to download 2020 software if you're already logged into the cloud You'll need to go to Product Resources to download the 2020 software. In this case, we're not logged into the cloud, and we're going to go to the 2020 download section at the top of the screen. Under the download section, go to the 2020 Gen 3 tab and open it up. There will be several versions of software on this tab. The current software is 2020.0.0. We have the release date, a software description, and then on the right hand side you can download release notes if you're interested in understanding what has changed for this version of software. In this case, you can see under our software link section we have a standard 2020.0.0 and we have a boot software. We're going to download the boot software for this video. Depending upon your web browser and how it's set to download files, it may ask you where to download the files. In this case, find your USB drive. In the case of this example, it is drive F, but it may not always be that drive letter, and download it directly to the drive. The web browser may also automatically download it into your downloads folder or onto your desktop. In this case, for the example, we will download it to our downloads folder to show how to copy the file. Once the file has fully downloaded, go to the folder that contains the file. Once the file is downloaded, click on the file and right click to copy. Copy the file and then find in Windows Explorer your USB drive and open it. On the USB drive, right click so that you're not in any folder but on the base level of the drive and paste the file. Once you've pasted the file, verify that the file name is correct. For a Gen 3 display, the boot image should be called 2020 Gen 3-Full the .img file type may or may not be shown. If there's any parentheses or dash one or any other letter or number after the file name, we need to rename the file so that it only says 2020 Gen 3 full. To rename the file, right click on the file, and go to rename. Once you click on Rename, it'll allow you to edit the file name. Using your cursor, select, in this case I'll add a dash 1. Select the dash 1, or move your cursor to after the dash 1, and use backspace to delete that from the file name. Once you're complete editing the file name, press Enter to save. Next, take the boot software on your USB drive and find the display base module in the cab of your tractor or combine. The display base module or DBM has a USB port next to the two ethernet ports on the DBM. First, turn the DBM off using either the tractor power or using the power button on the side of the DBM. The DBM will display no light 
on the LED status light when it's fully turned off. Wait for the DBM to turn off before using boot software. Once the LED light has fully turned off, take your USB drive and insert it into the USB port on the DBM. Once the USB has been inserted into the DBM, turn the DBM on. The DBM will check for boot software on the USB drive. Continue to watch the status light on the DBM. You can verify that boot software is being installed on the DBM by the status of a flashing yellow light displaying on the DBM. If you have further questions, please feel free to reach out to your precision planting dealer or precision planting product support. Thank you.